Hi everyone, we're on the road to Astoria to fish the famous Buoy 10 fishery with Kyle Jones of Jones Sport Fishing and Northwest Fishing Reports member Luke Hatfield. It's going to be a lot of fun, so join us. You're watching Northwest Fishing Reports. What a beautiful place to go. I am so pumped up for fishing tomorrow. Behind me is the boat launch here at Warrington on the Oregon side. Four lanes, 5.30 in the morning, and all those lanes are busy with boats. I'm excited. We're going to get the boat in the water. We're with Luke Hatfield. Rob, you guys are over there in Astoria with, with uh, Kyle Jones. How's it going for you? Hey, Mike, we just got it on the boat with our good buddy Kyle Jones. It's crazy in Astoria, too. We fought our way down to the launch here. Kyle keeps us set. Yep. yep. It's a little more convenient. A little bit. So I was we have able to fight the sea lion off here sometimes, but, but it's all right. Right, we got some company competing to hear what we're saying here. But anyways, we're, gonna, we're about ready to go fishing. Yeah, we're going to head out, do some fishing. Bit of bunch. Who we tan? Bunch of kings around, so. So I'm excited. Let's get going. Time to go fishing. We're pulling out of the harbor, Mike. We're going fishing at Bowie 10. And this morning, we're joined by Miss Sarah Holman. Oh, much, Let's introduce the members on Luke's boat today. Fishing with us are... John Hatfield. James Glenn. First mate. First mate. <laughs> I am Luke Hatfield. I'm the owner of the boat. I admin for the Northwest Fishing Reports Facebook site. If you haven't been out there, get out and check it out. We have lots of great reports, good sharing of information, and an overall fun place to hang out. I'm Robbie Sai, Northwest Fishing Reports member. We're out on location. As you can see in the background, we're near the checkerboard that marks the bottom of Desmonda Sands, the sand spit that runs from the bridge down. That's right where the channel breaks off for the Washington side run that runs up by the, the rest stop and some of the shipwreck and other things you hear about. The other side follows the Oregon shore up to the bridge and up by the moored ships, another area that people go. We're primarily gonna be fishing between the checkerboard in Owaco first thing in the morning, and then we'll shift from sort of the checkerboard along the green can line of green buoy markers off of Hammond as the day progresses. John, we're uh, fishing the incoming tide, is that right? Yes, the incoming tide, uh, the low tide this morning was about 520. When I do my cut plug herring, I run about a five finger spacing between my hooks. I come through the short side with the first hook, and plant it down to down near the tail so you don't get those tail nippers. Then the upper one comes across the backbone with the tip right at the front of the cut plug cut. Rob, how are you doing over there with Kyle? We're doing pretty good. Uh, I see that you just arrived right over my shoulder there. We're two for five this morning. We've got one in the box. We want wet one go. Uh, Kyle's optimistic that we got a big push of fish coming in. And uh, I'm hoping we get to watch you hook up. Luke, we're running five lines today and no tangles. How do you do that? All right, so I run my heaviest weights on the front rods. So in this case, we've got 12 ounces on the front rods. Okay. Then I go to 10 ounces on the other rods, which are also inside a little bit. And for today, we've got a coho rod, if you will, that we're running on a deep six diver that's a little bit shallower that runs back in the middle. So when we, we make sharp turns, that won't cross our other lines as we maneuver the boat around. And the other component to fish that. On. Here we go, fish on. This is a heavy fish, dude. Oh man, blue pen. Got a nice salad in there. Wow. Okay, as you get a chance, Mike, yeah. work yourself back about four steps. Uh, uh, no, you're done. 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 You're done.
real, real early. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> Some real and lift. Wow, look at that. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Yeah. Lift, lift, Mike. Lift, 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 lift. Still shaking. Uh, what a fish! Nice Chinook, and unfortunately uh, came off right at right the net. So that's fishing. We'll get the lines down and do it again. And I looked over and what did I see? Toby Wyatt, real time fishing, right next to us. We just got to watch those guys put one in the boat. So another Northwest Fishing Report sponsor. And Kyle, you work with Toby. I do on the Clearwater at home. I work, with, work for Toby around all my Clearwater trips. So that's your Idaho steelhead? And Idaho steelhead, all that stuff. Idaho steelhead, Idaho salmon. Yep, that's all who I work for. And then. Toby's done a lot to help me out learning this fishery out here as well. So. Right on. Nice to nice to see him out here. It's good to have friends in low places. <laughs> 25, 35. Robbie, you got a fish. Got a fish on. All right. Hey, Robbie. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. <laughs> hey, Braylon, that's really not what you do. But you don't need to look at the fish. You just work at keeping the rod dip up and pressure on him, okay? Okay. When you look at the fish, the rod dip goes down and they get flat on Nothing that way. Got it, got it. Yeah, turn to the right a little bit. Keep reeling, keep reeling, reel all the way up, reel all the way up. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Don't put any slack in it. All the way to the top. Ready, go. Right. Let's go, let's go. Give your rod tip up and out that way and hook it right where I want to go. Relax, relax, relax. Don't put any slack in. Keep the rods above and reel, 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 reel. Reel, reel. Up, 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 up. Up. Yeah! Oh, no. Wow, nice fish. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Now the decision. Uh, let some line up, please. The double hood. He was pinned down. That's how you catch a fish. <laughs> we can keep him. There you go, Robbie. First fish in the boat. <laughs> No long arm, no long arm there, buddy. <laughs> That's a nice, healthy fish. Yeah, it is. Good job. Look at that girth. Thank you. Know. Thank you, Luke. You're welcome.
Big lift, right knee. Big lift, got it. Nice job. Nice fish. Good job, guys. <laughs> nice work, Hillary. <laughs> You moving? Yeah, you guys up there. We've moved from buoy 10 to above the Astoria Bridge. Let's check in with Kyle Jones and see why he decided to make this move. Kyle, why did you decide to move us up here? Well, we rode most of the incoming tide down there off of Ilwaco, and uh, at this point in the tide, we're right about it within, and well, we're right about high tide. So we've been having a pretty good bite up here the last few days. So that was about over and done, and so it was kind of just time to move up here to see if we can get back on this pattern that we've been on the last few days. Fish on. That's the big guy. I need to get you to the middle. And... Up and out of here. Ah, there you go. Techniques out here at Bowie Tan in this Astoria area. Kyle does some stuff a little bit differently. I'm fishing like just like we do on the east side. I'm fishing with lead with no dropper to a uh, 360 a pro troll flasher and a super bait. And that's how I've been getting all my fish this year. Came down here and thought if they'll bite it 500 miles from the ocean, they probably ought to bite it here. Just kept running my stuff and it's been working. Seen a little bit of everything out here today. Kyle's producing them with uh, with that setup right there. Good job, Sarah. <laughs> well, Mr. Carey, I know you're out here working a little bit still on this. We just Kyle just got us done. Hold it right where that handle is. Sarah got our last game. Return all over here. I know we were just going for bagging, bragging rights, but by my count, we've got four kings and a silver. That's five fish. Plus three releases. Three, maybe four releases. One, two, nope, three. two kings, a silver release. Yeah, three that's releases. eight. Eight in the boat. See how you do. Hey, Kyle, let's let's uh, let's uh turn this show, the rest of the show over to Mike, who's still hunting around. Exactly. They're still looking for some fish, so... We're gonna go in and hang out. They can keep looking for fish. Get some lunch, you know, and yeah, chill. Exactly. Uh, but Kyle, if guys want to come out here with you, they can find you at Northwest Fishing Reports. How yep, often do you get hold Yep, I write reports on northwestfishingreports.com regularly. Uh, you can get on my website at jonesportfishing.com and uh, just follow our contacts on there, and that's the best way to get hold of us. Another awesome day, Kyle. That was awesome, buddy. Thanks I appreciate so it. That was good. Thanks for getting Sarah into her king and Hillary and. I want to you thank uh, 
Toyota dealers in the Inland Northwest, the General Store of Spokane, all the rest of our sponsors, especially our guide sponsors like Kyle Jones and Jones Sport Fishing. Woo! Buoy 10! That's a wrap! Luke's taking us, so what spot are we at now, Luke? We are fishing right off of the dock just below the sawdust pile. The sawdust pile, okay. Right off of Hammond, outside of uh, Hammond Marina. Well, that's a nice fish, Mike. Your rod and the house that way. These are even <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. That's, That's a, a nice one. Ooh. That is a nice one. Yeah. That's a big coho. That's a big hook nose coho. It's clipped, so it's okay to keep. These guys are coming. Beautiful yep. silvers. Nice fish. Nice. Very nice For fish. Sure. Thank you, Luke. Thanks, You're welcome. James. Thanks, John. Guys, we've had a great day out here on Buoy 10 and exploring some of the areas around. Kyle and uh, Rob's family did great on their boat as well. Again, thanks so much for taking us out. You're welcome. We'll see My you pleasure. guys. Yep, yep. We'll see you guys on the water and online.